What's up guys, Chasing Lamey here with episode 75 of Welcome to Roxham. And apologies that this episode is going up a little bit late, but we've got a tasty one for you. It's the FA Cup. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, share with your friends, leave some comments, all that good stuff. I'll see you on the other side of the intro. So I thought we'd start this episode by going through what we've missed since the last episode. Of course, the last episode was that away game at Shrewsbury. We then drew one all at home with Doncaster Rovers with Daniel Ramirez scoring. We beat Bristol Rovers, the disgusting, dirty Bristol Rovers, 4-1. Goals from Micah Hamilton, Daniel Ramirez, brace from Ronnie Stutter. We then, unfortunately, had to beat Swindon because that's how this goes. 3-0, away from home at the county ground, Ronnie Stutter getting a brace. Rafa Diaz getting the third goal. We then lost 2-1 to Rochdale in the league with Jordan Carrillo, our Mexican international, getting on the score sheet for that one before we beat Tranmere 3-1. A brace from Ronnie Stutter and one from Nathan Young Coombs, who has scored more times so far this season than did the entirety of last season, which I guess is a thing. Ronnie Stutter missed a penalty in that game as well. Could have been a hat-trick. Crazy crazy times but that brings today's fa cup game we're playing bolton wanderers so a uh, bit of an ex premier league opposition they are currently sat in 21st in league one by the way i had a little look before we start the episode in league two we sit top three points clear of gillingham fun fact for the day though bradford are one of only two teams in the entirety of english football this season after 16 games played to have not lost a game. They are completely undefeated. They just keep dropping points on draws. The other one, what it's worth, are Liverpool, who are currently top of the Premier League. Fun stuff. Anyway, without any further ado, I think we should go and meet today's lineup and see if we can get ourselves into the second round of the FA Cup. So we have a little bit of a shake-up in today's starting out there. We've got Celso Coronel starting in goal. It's been a while since I've used him, and I feel like he needs as much game time as Randy Straker to get the best out of both of them. Fabio starts at right back with Mikhail Samuel, Westwood and Rhys Davis alongside him. Rhys Davis has played a, a little bit of football for us in the reserves and looked okay, so I thought we'd give him a run out today. Why the devil not? Um, feels like a big risk in the FA Cup. I'm slightly tempted to put in Sam White in his stead and the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm not disagreeing with that as a choice. They're largely interchangeable. Let's stick Sam White in there We'll give Reese Davis a debut from the bench if we need to. Now that done it, starting as the defensive midfielder today, Rafa Diaz and Ryan Green start alongside each other in central midfield. Ahmed Gamar and Jordan Carrillo are starting on the wings. Jaden Williams up top. Maria Boney, uh, Reese Davis, Daniel Ramirez, Ronnie Stutter, Ben Dodd, August, uh, sorry, Austin Chimese, uh, Rodriguez, Thompson and Cohn Doherty are the substitutes for the day. In terms of players who are missing out for various reasons, uh, setting Kiddy Carslan is not fully fit. He is, that's why he's not playing. Finn Burns, unfortunately, just couldn't find a place room in the squad the way things were set up for today. Uh, Kadarabek, not fully fit. Had a big game in midweek. Thought I'd give him a chance to have a rest, seeing as we don't really need him for this one, I would like to think. Uh, Micah Hamilton just being rested. Same with Pablo. Basically, anyone who's not on the team, I'm deliberately resting for this one. Anyway, without any further ado, let's go and play Bolton and see if we have made the right choices and we're going to make it through to the second round of the FA Cup. I'd like to think we can, but, you know, it's the FA Cup. Anything can happen. So in the dressing room, we're saying, I think we need to show everyone their recent praise is justified. Go put out a show, at, put on a show out there. I and mean, we're top of League Two against the 21st best team, or 22nd best team in League One. I feel like we should be able to actually get a good result here. We're going to do a bit of a doing pointing fingers make a difference, make me proud. What? How? How very forthright I'm being today. Right, let's preview the match, shall we? See what's going to happen here in terms of players on the Bolton side. There's no one there who has played for us on this series. Jack Diamond played for us at Sunderland. I know Jack Diamond very well. Very, very good little player. So we'll keep an eye out for him. I don't know what kind of form Jack Diamond has been on of late. I guess we'll find out. He's been pretty pretty alright, I guess. It's in his second season now with Bolton having played for Wrexham before. So, yeah, could be a good little choice for them to have him out there. I don't know. 
Jack Dunn and Jamie Pell on that team that scares me even slightly, so we're just going to go with it. And uh, we're going to get ready for the game, going to kick off, and hopefully have a very good one. Early, early highlight, 30 seconds on the clock, and Bolton have got a free kick into Rooney, I'm guessing that's not Wayne. And uh, straight over the bar, nothing really happened from that one, but we'll keep going, because I do feel a bit like we've, we've got some potential to cause a minor upset today. Corner kick, Jack Diamond. Sorry, Zach Diamond taking it. Uh, Jack Diamond, isn't it? Zach Diamond was the guy that played for Liverpool years ago. Uh, Celso Coronel easily gets his hands on it either way. And we're going to go on the counter-attack here. Beautiful rollout to Lakyle Samuel. Done it to Diaz. To Samuel, back to Diaz. Looks for Samuel again. Gives it away. And Oakley Canonier has scored for Bolton. Rafa Diaz has absolutely bottled that there. I don't understand. Samuel makes the pass, done it. Done it goes to Diaz. Diaz goes to Samuel. Samuel plays it into Diaz, who was already in trouble a little bit, who then gives the ball away. I don't understand it. We had Sam White stood here like an absolute lemon, just waiting for a pass. Don't know why that didn't happen. Terrible stuff. We've got to go behind it. We need to really, really suck it up and get ourselves into the game again. Diaz now on the ball, trying to make up for his error earlier. Fabio picks up the pass. Good little cross over the top. Bit too high. Eccles heads it away to done it. To Ryan Green with a pop from range. And it just goes over the bar. And that's uh, at least a little bit positive from Ryan Green. It's not going to get us on the score sheet shooting like that. But at least it's going to scare them a little bit. We finally started getting some shots on goal, which is even better for us. We just have to really focus, get ourselves into this game will be fine I feel like as Fabio gets a throw in to Gamar. Gamar turns his man, goes on the run, can he use his pace? Oh, he can use his pace but not his passing. Rooney has the ball now over the top. Samuel will pick this one up all day. Lovely little short pass to Westwood. Westwood over the top headed down by Almeida Santos. Marshall to Johnson. Thomason over the top looking for Canonier. Canonier is through. We need to cut him off and we haven't. And Canonier has his second goal of the game. We are sinking without trace against a team that is not on great form. I'm going to break the boys for that one. And I'm already starting to think about the substitution potential. The Kyle Samuel has let us down something horrendous today. It's got to be said. And uh, it's easy to argue at least that one of that goal was his fault. I possibly make an argument the second one was at least partially his fault for just not going, Oi, dickhead. There's a guy over there waiting for a pass. But even so, we are we are we are very close to sinking without trace here, and we need to really, really suck it up and get back in this game. Throw in now with Fabio, who's picked up a yellow card, done it. Over the top looking for Carrillo. Carrillo has a pop of goal. Like to think he should have scored that with his one cap for Mexico. He didn't, but he's gonna take the corner. Can he get something out of that? That's the next question. Over the top. Looking for someone there. Didn't find anyone on our team. Samuel with a terrible header to get the ball away to Jack Diamond. And ball goes across. Samuel picks it back up. Luckily, out to Gamar. Gamar needs to really figure this out now. Fabio to Samuel. Going nowhere. Don't know why that highlight went on that long. I guess it was just to show me how embarrassingly poor we've been today. Right, so we've got ourselves to half-time. And I feel like my half-time team talk is going to be a largely what the hell was that? Uh, get your acts together, start playing football. You seem inspired. Well, I'm not sure you seem inspired enough. I'm going to grab everyone who's on a less than 6.4, which is a lot of the players on the fan. I'm going to leave Fabio and just tell him to, uh, to just not... Uh, I'm quite angry with how poorly you've played tonight. Seem very motivated. Good. Good stuff. Right, Fabio, buddy, we're going to do a point at you. Calm down. Avoid being sent off. That's very important. Who are I? Jordan Carrillo seems to have lost confidence. I'm not quite sure that was what I was going for, Jordan. Uh, but fair play, son. You, uh, you've you made your feelings known, and I'll let you get away with it. Uh, you guys go and make a difference. Right, who else have I got just to do some yelling out? I mean, you guys have been acceptable, I guess. We could just, just tell them to make a difference, too. Why not? They can still improve. Go do your thing. Carrillo, grow up. And go and do your thing. We need two goals now to keep ourselves in the FA Cup. Throw in now White to Westwood. Westwood to Dunnett to Green. Are we going to finally come into this game now? Sam White finds Carrillo. Carrillo 
almost gives it away to Eccles, wins it back. Jaden Williams across to Diaz. Rafa Diaz looking to make up for his earlier mistake. Gomar into the box and Gomar gets himself his first goal of the season. Ahmed Gomar, the potential next Mo Salah, the Egyptian wonder kid, the pharaoh of something in Norfolk. Fun. Anyway, let's just see what we can do. Gomar has got himself on the score sheet. That's the important thing. And now we keep trying to get that second goal. I can reevaluate what I'm doing with subs. And hopefully we can make something special keep happening here. Throw in now left hand side, Reese Davis, one of the subs on the ball to Rogerino, another sub, done it. Over the top looking for Stutter, who also came on as a sub. And we are combining subs, hopefully to good effect. Not with passing like that, we're not, but there we go. Luckily, Lakai or Samuel picks up the ball for a change, finds Westwood. Boney is also on as a sub. Chimacy is on as a sub. We've got Stutter up top as well, just for good measures. Diaz picks up the ball. Back to Gamar. Gamar in for Stutter, off the defender. And it's being cleared away by Rooney. And we we are looking alive, at least, finally. It is time. We're going to fire the boys up as soon as it will allow me to fire the boys up and see if we cannot get a, a late equaliser out of this one. Westwood finds Rogerino. We've got about five minutes left on the clock as Johnson picks up the loose ball. Rooney for Bolton. Out into the ether. Westwood picks up Chimacy, Davis, Rogerino. Rogerino finds Diaz. Diaz, plenty of time. Through ball for Stutter. Ronnie Stutter! Ronnie Stutter! Ronnie Stutter with his 13th goal of the season. And the boy has come good off the bench, saved our blushes, and we are finally looking like we might stay in the FA Cup, and we're also finally looking like the ep next episode might be a replay at whatever the Reebok Stadium is called, now is it the University of Bolton Stadium or something? I can't remember. Anyway, either way, we're going to go through, hopefully, to at least a replay, if not find a cheeky late winner which would do us very, very nicely at this point. We've got some injury time to play. Are we going to find ourselves beautifully, beautifully positioned for a late fairy tale winner? We're the better side right now. We finally found ourselves on top of this game. We just need one last late chance. And Walton for Bolton. That's a very hard thing to have said five times fast, I'm sure. Uh, puts the ball forward, a big ball forward, looking for Jack Diamond. Samuel to Coronel, 30 seconds left to go. Samuel over the top. This is going to be either heartbreak or heroism as Rogerino finds Reese Davis on the left-hand side. Davis through ball to Chimezi. Chimezi has options, cuts it back for Rogerino. He's in the box. Rogerino! Oh my God! Our Brazilian loney, £1.4 million having for one season. And Rogerino makes himself an instant club legend. I say instant, he's played like a dozen games. Makes himself a club legend in a blink of an eye, though, by scoring a very, very, very late winner, you'd have to assume, against Bolton. We are just waiting for the final whistle. It's gone, and Rogerinho goes down in club folklore. I'm not even sure he got the Man of the Match award for that. I don't even know who did. I was Oakley Canonier got himself the Man of the Match award. Absolutely disgraceful stuff. Either way, we've put Bolton out of the FA Cup. And I guess we'll have to see where we're coming back in the next round before we decide if it's worth us coming back for the next round or if we just pretend this FA Cup run will go on. We'll find out in just a second. I'm going to come back for the draw. OK, so we've made it to the second round draw. I felt like it took ages. It took no time in your uh, in your world, but it took bloody ages in my time. Anyway, uh, the Wrexham, the Roxham fan poll, which team will be your preferred opponent? Fleetwood are the winners with 44%. Hartlepool with 35 or Aldershot with 21%. So, we're not going to do the, the entire draw. I don't know why I just didn't just click, click the skip draw button. That would have been far quicker. Let's just have a little look, see at the available teams, then work out who we'd like to get ourselves. Kem is it's hosting. Jesus, what's Kem is it doing with himself in game right now? He is the former manager of Carshalton. Kem is it in this universe has not done anything vaguely useful in football for well over fifteen years, and honestly, I 
think most Colchester fans will tell you didn't do anything useful then. That's such a random pick. Anyway, big tangent. Right, who's in this draw that is sizably big? Of course, Hull and Swindon, two big clubs. Wrexham and Birmingham are possibilities. We've played a lot of Wrexham, though. And Birmingham, not as big as they used to be. Charlton, that could be an interesting game. Swansea, if that came up, would be interesting. Uh, Bradford, of course, undefeated so far. That would be an interesting game, too. Um, I'd be okay with AFC Wimbledon. I'd be okay with any of these non-league teams, too, to be perfectly honest. Either way, let's um, let's find the skip button and uh, advance to the end. That's what we're trying to do. Come on, buddy. Let's get this done. Uh, that was not the end. Uh, that was that was that was match twenty. Uh, cool. That's worked out beautifully. Let's see who we got, shall we? Let's just go and work out. We were like the last people out the draw almost. Uh, match twenty. Uh, I'm trying to find us now. That's us. For some reason, with no name. Newport County. Okay. That could be interesting. There are a few of our ex-players, I believe, at Newport, so that could be a very tasty tie for us. I guess we'll probably come back to that, actually. That's probably a nice space in the calendar for us in terms of games jumped over. Uh, 2nd of December, five games down. Do we want it to be five games down? Yeah, screw it. Let's come back for that game. Why not? We'll come back for that game, and then we'll come back for... A tasty either FA Cup third round or a game against Swindon, who are probably going to be our closest challengers this season, just to make me happy. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I have, as always, been chasing Lamey. Thanks so much for watching. Do like, subscribe, ring the bell, leave those comments. I read every comment. I respond to pretty much every comment these days. That's quite a thing. It all helps out with the old uh, what's he dude all that makes people watch. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Uh, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you all very soon, hopefully the next video will be out on time, I'll try and get an F1 manager video out this week, I'm going to try and get my new F1 podcast launched this week, hopefully big week on the channel. Anyway guys, I shall see you all very soon, I, thought, I have as always been chasing Lamy, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon, have a good one.